Hello students, now we are going to study aromaticity. This is a very important topic and a very easy topic. I'm damn sure that this topic will help you like your best friend at the time of your examination. Because you can score full marks with a short expenditure of time. So I strongly recommend you to gain expertise in this topic. Okay, so we are going to study in this video about a few terms like aromaticity, anti-aromaticity and non-aromaticity and a method to distinguish the aromatic, anti-aromatic and non-aromatic molecules. Okay, let's see this molecule. First one is benzene that is very stable. Next one is cyclobutadiene that is unstable, perhaps it doesn't exist at normal conditions. Third one is cyclooctatetraene that is also stable, but stable, but not as stable as benzene. Okay. See, all are cyclic, all are conjugated. How come one is very stable, the other one is unstable, and the other one is moderately stable? So this is what rationalized as aromaticity. Aromaticity is a special, is an unprecedented stability observed only in a few cyclic conjugated pi systems. So you can't expect the same stabilization in all the conjugated pi systems. So benzene is one such example. And there are other examples which are very unstable, that is cyclobutadiene. Third one is very moderately stable, that is cyclooctatetraene that is uh, an example for another type so anyway this molecule is these molecules are categorized as aromatic aromatic anti aromatic anti aromatic anti aromatic and non aromatic non-aromatic. So, aromatic molecules are very stable. Anti-aromatic molecules are unstable as, a, as, a, as the name states. They are anti to aromatic. Aromaticity is a stabilizing phenomena. So, anti-aromaticity is a destabilizing phenomena. So, they are unstable. Next one is uh, non-aromatic compounds. They are moderately stable. Okay. So, how to distinguish whether these molecules are aromatic, anti-aromatic or non-aromatic. If a molecule is given, how will you distinguish? Okay, there is a set of rules proposed by Huckel. Okay, according to this method, this molecule should be cyclic first of all. It should be planar. There should be a cyclic conjugation. So, this three criteria these three rules are known as preliminary screening or basic screening out of these three if any one is violated then you can simply say that the molecule is non aromatic if any one is violated any one violated if any one is violated or if any one is unfulfilled then you can simply say that the molecule is non planar and classified if all the three are fulfilled, qualified, then go to the fourth level. See the number of pairs of pi electrons. If it is an odd number, then the molecule is aromatic. Number of pairs of pi electrons, not number of pi electrons. Okay. So it is aromatic. That means 4n plus 2. Rule is obeyed. n is an integer. If it is even number, then 4n rule is obeyed. You don't have to worry about 4n, 4n plus 2 and all. See the number of pairs of pi electrons. See whether it is odd or even. If it is an odd pair, the molecule is aromatic. If it is an even pair, the molecule is anti-aromatic. That's it. Okay. So let us see a few examples. You see, this benzene, is it cyclic? Yes, it is cyclic. Is it planar? Yes, it is planar. How can you know whether a molecule is planar or not? You can go for molecular model. Okay. If there is non-planarity, automatically there will be a twisting, flipping or bending. Okay. There will be a 
reluctance in being planarity. So you can confirm that the molecule is not planar. But benzene and all is an old molecule. You know that it is planar. Okay. And cyclic conjugation. I use this word cyclic conjugation. In some books it is mentioned as extended conjugation, cyclic pi electron cloud, uninterrupted pi electron cloud. Many words are used. But let me use this one, cyclic conjugation. That means you need conjugated pi bonds or conjugated double bonds or triple bonds throughout the ring. Okay. Take for example benzene. This is a planar molecule, benzene is planar and throughout the ring there are p orbitals. Okay, benzene is sp2 hybridized, the carbons are sp2. So there is an unhybridized p orbital on each carbon which is lying perpendicular to the plane of the ring. There are six carbons, so six p orbitals, they are perpendicular to the plane of the ring. At the same time, they are parallel to each other. Since they are parallel to each other, they can undergo overlap, sideways overlap, okay, to make pi bonds. There is a sideways overlap like this. So there will be a cyclic conjugation cyclic pi electron cloud. So what is a prerequisite? You need p orbitals on each atom of the ring and they need to be parallel. They need to be perpendicular to the plane of the ring. So that is the requirement to ensure a cyclic pi electron cloud. So in benzene that prerequisite is achieved. So benzene qualifies the third criteria also. So let us go to the fourth one. See the number of pairs of pi electrons. How many pairs? 1, 2, 3, 3 pi bonds. 3 pi bond means 6 electrons. For each bond, 2 electrons. So, 3 bonds, so 6 electrons. 6 electrons means 3 pairs. 3 is an odd or even? 3 is an odd number. So, benzene is aromatic. Benzene is aromatic. Benzene is aromatic. Let us see cyclobutadiene. Is it cyclic? Yes, cyclic. Is it planar? Yes, it is planar. Is there a cyclic conjugation? See, there is a conjugation like this. Double bond is two double bonds throughout the system. They are alternative to each other. They are conjugated to each other. So, cyclic conjugation is achieved. So, let us go to the fourth level. See the number of pairs of pi electrons. How many pi bonds? Two pi bonds. Two pi bond means four electrons. Four electrons means two pairs. 2 is an even number, so this molecule is anti-aromatic, anti-aromatic, cyclobutadiene is anti-aromatic, cyclooctatetraene, let us see, is it cyclic? Yes, it's a cyclic molecule. Is it planar? Is it planar? Here comes the problem. The actual structure of this molecule is It is a tub shape. It is a tub shape. This is not a planar structure. So, octatetraene fails in the second criteria, the planarity criteria. Okay? So, this is non planar. As I told you, this is a basic screening. If any one is violated, then the molecule is non planar. So, here, planarity criteria is violated. So, this molecule is what? This molecule is non aromatic non-aromatic. If any one is violated, the molecule is non-aromatic. So, cyclooctatetraene is non-aromatic. Let's see these molecules. Cyclopentadiene. Is it planar? Yes, it is. Sorry, is it cyclic? Cyclic, yes. Is it planar? Yes, it is planar. Is there a cyclic conjugation? Is there a cyclic conjugation? You see there is an sp3 carbon, a saturated carbon. In order to ensure conjugation, you need, you need to have a double bond adjacent to a double bond. A double bond should be connected with a double bond or triple bond. 
or it should be connected with a cation or anion or radical or a lone pair of electrons, an atom with a lone pair of electrons. But you see here, this is an sp3 carbon, a saturated carbon. So there is no chance for cyclic conjugation. Conjugation is possible this way. Pi electron cloud is possible this way. But this way it is not possible. So no cyclic pi electron cloud. So this molecule is non-aromatic. And let us see the corresponding anion. Let us see the corresponding anion. Now, double bond is connected with, the, with an anion. So, conjugation is achieved. So, no problem. No problem. So, let us see the fourth rule. Number of pi electrons. 1, 2, 2 pi bonds. That means 4 pi electrons. Negative charge. Again, 2 electrons. So, 2 plus 2 plus 2. So, 6 electrons. 6 pi electrons. 6 electrons in the pi electron cloud. Two ele 4 electrons from the double bonds, one, 2 electrons from the negative charge. So total 6. 6 electrons, that means 3 pairs. 3 is an odd number. So this molecule is aromatic. Cyclopentadienyl anion is aromatic. Let us see the cation. Again, double bond is connected with the cation. So, conjugation is allowed. No problem. Cyclic conjugation is allowed. Let's see the fourth rule. Number of pi electrons. 1, 2. 2 pi bond. That means 4 electrons. Cation means no electrons. 0 electrons. So, 2 plus 2, 4 electrons. 4 electrons means 2 pairs. 2 is an even number. So, this molecule is anti-aromatic. Cyclo butadiene is non-aromatic, the anion is aromatic, the cation is anti-aromatic. Let's see another example, cycloheptatriene. Here also there is sp3 carbon. So, though, so no cyclic conjugation, so this molecule should be non-aromatic. Let's see the anion again. Let us see the anion. So, cyclic conjugation, the double bond is connected with the anion. So, no problem. Cyclic conjugation is achieved. Go to the fourth rule. How many pi bonds? 1, 2, 3. 6 electrons. Negative charge, again 2 electrons. So, 6 plus 2, 8 electrons. That means 4 pairs. 4 is an even number. So, this molecule is anti aromatic okay and see the cation you can simply say if the anion is anti-aromatic cation should be aromatic but let us see here also cyclic conjugation is achieved no problem cation is connected with the double bond see the fourth rule one two three three pi bonds cation means no electrons so three pi bonds six electrons that means 3 pair, 3 is an odd number, so this molecule is aromatic, okay. You need to remember this entire data, cyclopentadiene is non-aromatic, but anion is aromatic, cation is anti-aromatic, cyclohectatriene is non-aromatic, but the anion is anti-aromatic, cation is aromatic. You need to remember this data because later on you are going to use it in solving various problems. This is going to implicate in various properties of uh, many organic compounds. The properties like dipole moment, the properties like acidity, pKa. Everywhere we are going to use these data and there are problems associated in all the uh, properties. Let's see this. We know that cyclo Butadiene is anti-aromatic. We have seen already. But in case if we prepare a comp, if you assume that it is like this, if you assume a cyclobutadiene like this, this is also anti-aromatic. And if we prepare a dianion like this, 
Now, this is aromatic. This molecule is aromatic. You see, molecule is cyclic, planar. There is conjugated pi system because double bond is connected with the cation. Again, this side also with the cation. So, there is cyclic conjugation, cyclic pi electron cloud. You have p orbitals everywhere in all the carbons. So, third criteria is also fulfilled. If you see the fourth one, number of pi electrons. One pi bonds. Cations mean no electrons, I told you. One pi bond, that means two electrons. Two means one pair. One is an odd number, so this molecule is, this dication is aromatic. Let's see this. We have already seen cyclooctatetraene is, is what? Aromatic or non-aromatic or anti-aromatic? This is non-aromatic. We have already seen because this is a tub-shaped molecule. We have already seen. It loses a planarity, so this is non-aromatic. If we prepare a dianion like this, this is planar. And see the number of pairs? 1, 2, 3, 3 pi bonds, 6 electron, 2 negative charges, again 4 electrons, so 10 electrons. 10 electrons means 5 pairs. 5 is an odd number. So this dianion is aromatic. Okay. Cyclo octa tetraene is non-aromatic because it is non-planar. But the corresponding dianion is planar and aromatic. You see this is a 9-membered ring. 9-membered ring. This is also planar. This is also planar. There are 4 pi bonds and a negative charge. Cyclo nona tetraenyl anion. See the number of this planar. So this is uh, let a, there is no problem of planarity issue. There are how many pi electrons? One, two, three, four, four pi bonds. So eight electrons. There is a negative charge. So total ten electrons. Ten electron means five pairs. Five pairs. Five is an odd number. So this molecule is aromatic. This dianion, cyclonona tetraenyl dianion, dianion in, in, okay, dianion is aromatic. And this is azonine. This is also 9 membered ring. 1, 2, 3, 4. This is planar. 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 pi bonds. That means 8 electron. Here there is a lone pair. As I told you, double bond should be connected with cation, anion, radical, or with the with an atom with a lone pair. So here there is a lone pair. So total 10 electrons. 10 means 5 pairs. 5 is an odd number. So this molecule is aromatic. And let us go to the oxygen analog of xenine. In, in the place of nitrogen we have oxygen. This is non-planar. Non-planar means what? Non-planar means it is non-aromatic. We have already seen. Why? Just changing only one atom in the place of nitrogen, you put oxygen, it becomes non-planar and non-aromatic. What is the problem? We have already studied the VACPR theory. Oxygen means there are two lone pairs. Lone pair, lone pair repulsion is more than lone pair, bond pair and bond pair, bond pair. So because of this lone pair repulsion, it loses the planarity and loses the aromaticity and it becomes non-aromatic okay try to remember all these data all these anions cations uh, we are going to use all these data later on in various problems um, the remaining interesting aspects we will see in the next videos okay wish you all the best god bless you thank you